Love and support for Marjorie Stoneman Douglas students and staff is still pouring in from all over the world. And not far from the school, a little girl is busy painting. CBS 4 News anchor Lauren Pastrana explains how the creations are truly a work of heart. Because I want sunshine in every single person's day. Aya Morgenstern is a ray of sunshine. From her dress to her smile, she just wants to spread love and light. And she's doing so with chairs and paint. I am painting a project called Sunny Seats. Sunny Seats is a beautiful chair. It is very colorful. It has 17 hearts because there was people got very, very hurt at this school called Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. The seven-year-old is hand-painting the chairs in honor of the victims of the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. 17 seats for 17 souls. My idea is to um, try to put, like, love on it and try to spread kindness. And I never want anyone to forget these victims. Her mom says Ayel came up with the idea on her own. Ayel is an old soul and she grasps a lot for her age. And she's been doing this for quite some time now. This isn't Ayel's first time using art to help others heal. I want to make the whole world feel better. Last year, she painted rocks to decorate the gravestones that were vandalized at Jewish cemeteries across the country. But this time, tragedy struck just a stone's throw away from her home. The Morgensterns live in Parkland. It's devastating to the community. Um, I feel like I've been walking around mourning. And as the community begins the difficult healing process, Ayel hopes her sunny seats will bring smiles and peace. Kindness is a wave that never stops, an echo that never ends, and a light that never dims. Kindness and love always wins. Aya has painted one chair so far, but she's ready to work on more. Her goal is to donate 17 chairs to Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School as a tribute to the victims. If you want to help her with supplies, you can make a donation. We've posted the information on CBSMiami.com. In the newsroom, Lauren Pastrana, CBS 4 News.